the month of November is going to be a month for you to completely reinvent yourself and in a good way. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why this is so important and exactly why this time right now that we are living on this earth is the most exciting, the most beautiful, and the most transformational time that we have lived with so many beautiful and amazing possibilities for you. So stay tuned, keep watching till the end. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you a little bit of my surroundings where I am. I'm on a mountaintop in Africa, South Africa, and I'll show you that. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Beautiful children of the stars, welcome once more to an energy update. This time it's for November. Yes, and if you're hearing some little sounds here, I'm going to show you. I've got two friends who are chiming in. Yes, since I came to this place, these two have been advising me. Oh, there's three of them now. Yes, thank you. They're advising me. You know that chickens are very, very intelligent. They know a lot. They're also 5D beings, eh? <laughs> so yes, beautiful chicken mama, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Give me your input. All right. <laughs> so November is a month where you are called, where you're asked to completely reinvent yourself from the inside out, from the outside in. Because I'm going to tell you this one truth, which has been coming to me lately since I've been here in Africa, especially in the last month, actually. And it's this. You cannot change the world around you. You cannot change anyone else. You cannot, you know, physically go out there and, you know, the world has to be a better place. Arr! You know, slap, slap, slap. You can't do that. The only way you can create change in your life, in your world, in your, in your reality, is by changing yourself. You have to create complete change and transformation within yourself to be able to change your world and your experience. And this is something that we know it makes sense, but we don't do it. We just don't do it. We tend to get stuck in our beliefs, in our little cycles, in our cycles of drama, in our spirals of negative thinking, and we tend to get stuck and not really change and transform ourselves. And where you can start is to really examine your belief systems. Belief systems are just perspectives that have been solidified. So the way to start, and this is what I have been doing, my friends. I always thought, you know, oh yes, I'm so enlightened. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm a spiritual seeker and I am, you know, doing my best and living a good life. And I'm so transformative. But I found in the last month, that I have layers and layers of stuck belief systems, especially about who I am, about how I'm working in the world, how I'm doing things. I have layers of stuckness that I am right now peeling back. And I am in the process of reinventing everything that I thought I once was. And it's a beautiful process because it gets you closer to who you really are. It gets you closer to your soul. So I see it as the layers of the dream spells, of the belief systems, of our upbringing that have been compacted down. And it's a process of layer by layer uncovering those. And you as a highly conscious star seed, you can take a shortcut and you can go straight. You can, you can cut straight to the chase. Usually it takes a person their whole life to transform maybe 1% of their beingness. But you as an open-minded, spiritual seeker, what you're being called to do right now in November is to really, truly create a change so deeply within yourself, so deeply within your belief systems. And I mean, I'm telling you guys, why don't you just take all your belief systems or all the perspectives that you have and just kind of just, just release them, release them and start fresh this morning. Actually, last night, I already had a message that tomorrow when you wake up, 
you can do restart. You can press restart. My friends, you can press restart anytime. And it's about pressing restart on your beliefs, on your perspectives of who you think you are, of where you think you are, of what you believe that you have to do in order to survive, of your whole identity as a 3D person, perhaps. Oh, I can only do this type of job. I have to stay in this job. I have to, you know, submit myself. I have to say yes to what I don't want because I can only do this job. That is your stuck belief. That is something that is not really true. It's true for you if you believe it, but it's not true. So why don't you just examine what you believe about yourself and just release it a little bit, throw it out the window, say, okay, I am starting fresh. Who am I? Who am I? I'm a soul incarnate in this human body. I'm a being of light. My soul is <laughs> eternal. My soul has lived many lives. My soul has incarnated in many blueprints and I can actually do whatever I want. I can embody any of those blueprints. I can do any job that I want. I can go anywhere that I want. I'm a limitless being. How about you start with that, my friends? <laughs> and I truly feel that we have been called because if we get stuck too much in our identity or what the 3D tells us that we must play as a role, then how can you truly progress? How can you truly be free? How can you truly be open? And every day, every single day, we are presented with opportunities to release those old belief systems and to take on fresh new perspectives of who we are and what we need to do. And this is what you have to do, my friends. This is what you have to do in November. This is the strong message that I'm getting. And it's even beyond, like I feel, I feel right now is a time for you to truly reset to a deeper level <laughs> everything that you have believed so far, everything that has built this identity around you that has kept you in a cage or that has led you astray or that has made you feel negative or bad or unwanted or rejected or not good enough or not worthy enough or without possibilities to do something different than you're doing now or perhaps to have you stuck in sickness and disease that you don't need to do you think that you are an ill person i, I don't care what your story is <laughs> i don't care what kind of um medications, long-term disease, sickness. I don't, I don't care what it is that you have, my beautiful starseed. My beautiful starseed soul. If you think you are a sick or diseased person that is being held down by something, that also is a belief, no matter if you have lived that your entire life. And right now is an opportunity. You, you hear that wind? We're on, we're on the top of a mountain and this wind is so liberating, so freeing. If you're having trouble with letting go of belief systems, go up where there's wind. Go up to a mountain top. Go up to a high place where the air is fresh, where you can breathe. And just let those old stuck belief systems that you are sick, that you can't get well, that you can't go where you want to, that you have to stay in that relationship, that you're not good enough, just let it go. Just let that wind take it all away and my beautiful starseed soul if you say but how can I do this how can I do this it's I can't do that I've believed this all my life yes you can it's a choice that we make do you know that what you believe is because you choose to believe it every single thing that you believe about yourself or anyone else is because you choose to believe that so if you feel that you're very stuck, you can choose to believe something different. That's all it is. And that's how we create our reality, my friends. So this, this November, where are you stuck? Ask yourself this, where are you stuck? Where are you feeling negative effects of other people, of agendas? Examine that a little bit and just choose to unbelieve that. Choose to unbelieve 
whatever that belief is that is keeping you stuck. That's what I have done and it works, my friend. It, it, it works, my friends. It really does work. And that's like, I think one of the simplest messages that I've put out there for you to completely reinvent yourself and to choose to believe something that is to your benefit. But if you only do that, I promise you, you your life will change. I mean, if you have certain things that you believe and you do things a certain way, how is your reality supposed to change around that? We all know that Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And we can translate that to, insanity is thinking and believing the same thing without changing and then expecting your world to change. It doesn't work like that and maybe you've noticed it. So only by really taking that step and starting with yourself, starting to reinvent yourself and press that reset button, that's the only way you can truly bring beautiful new things into your life. And the more drastic you are about it, the more drastic and the more abundant and the more life-changing these experiences can come in for you, right? So why don't you try that? Why don't you just sit down and maybe make a list? Make a list of everything in your mind or even write it down of what it is that you are stuck on, what it is that is really bothering you, what it is that's going wrong. And don't look at, oh, that other person is so horrible or, oh, that's happening. You know, every time something is wrong in my life, every time I'm faced with a negative happening, I see it as a mirror and I look at myself and I say, wow, how did I bring that about? What did I do? Where do I need to change? What do I need to learn? Why am I feeling bad? Why am I feeling limited? Where do I need to change my belief and my behavior and my pattern to smooth that out, to make that better again? And this is truly how you have to live your life. Like we are children of the stars, but we are in a very thick 3D matrix and it's not easy. And trying to be a fifth dimensional being of light in a 3D matrix is very confusing and very hard. And another thing that goes with this, and just bear with me because this is really, really important. And this is something where we can really get in trouble. It's like this. Being a fifth dimensional being, we come from higher densities. All of you, every single one of you, you are star seeds, and you have come from a higher dimension. And being in this heavy 3D matrix where polarities are strong, we always think we have to play a certain role, right? We're playing roles for people in our lives, um, for work, for family. So we have to play a certain role, a certain archetype. And that sometimes does not translate into the 5D. So let's say we have beautiful 5D relationships with people. And then in the 3D, we have to kind of make it into a, into a role. Suddenly we have to be here and, and be like the mother or the friend or, or um, the teacher or the lover. <laughs> See? And sometimes that, that just doesn't work. So another thing that I can advise you is just get rid of all those roles that you are trying to play. Get rid of them. Get rid of the roles you're trying to play. Get rid of these archetypes that you're trying to embody and just be you as a soul. Unconditional. Just giving unconditional love and not trying to play a role right away. So that also can be a huge, huge problem where you're being pressed into all these roles that you have to play at the 3D level, which actually at, at 5D, 6D do not even apply. So the higher dimensional you are at soul level, the more difficult it will be to try to play these roles at the 3D level. Do you know what I mean? So how about just getting rid of those roles? Un 
doing unbelieving some of those roles that you've been pressed into and just saying I am me this is me I'm a divine being I'm here savoring every moment in interaction with everyone around me and just being present as me giving unconditional love without even trying to play a role I'm not going to try to play a role <laughs> so that's another thing um, that I feel is very important and that will help this month with getting rid of all these belief systems. Not trying to play roles, but just being present and seeing every exchange that you have with every person, place or thing as a gift, <laughs> as a gift of interaction with the wind, with the chickens, with your friends, with your family, with the trees with nature, okay? So, those are the messages that I got for you. And I hope that will really help this month. So, so do not be afraid, really, do not be afraid to throw overboard all those old belief systems, all those cages that you've been pushed into, all those roles that you've been pushed into or that you know your 3d ego self tells you you need you need to fulfill or that's the right way to go just throw it all overboard reinvent yourself completely be fresh be new and i promise you that's going to help this month because i feel the energies that are here right now the energies that 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 are unfolding for us the possibilities are infinite they're they're big this is the month where you can truly step into your multi-dimensional self and take it up a notch. Take it up a notch to the 5D level, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you around and share with you where I am. Okay, I will show you where I am. First of all, look at this. You see this? <laughs> there is purple, like buds, flowers that are coming from these beautiful trees up here. Do you see that, my friends? You can't really see it, maybe, but these are purple flowers on these trees. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> we are in a little Airbnb resort that is so beautiful right on top of the mountain. You will see this, you will see this here. Take a look at this. I'll turn the camera around so I can show you. Okay, there you go. Can you see it better? Look at this gorgeous tree right here. Look at that. There's even tennis courts. <sighs> Tropical vegetation. Look at that. See this beautiful tree? Amazing, huh? They have such beautiful trees here and flowers. That's a gazebo. And look at these interesting trees right here. I mean, have you ever seen these? Look at that, my friends. Beautiful, huh? And wait till you see this. We're getting to the view now. Stay tuned, my friends. This is the view. This is actually the cottage of the owners. Our cottage is up the hill a little bit. Look at this. Yes. This is the view. Look at that, my friends. Beautiful, huh? It's very, very windy here right now. And um, yeah, this is the view. These are kind of tabletop mountains. We're looking into the valley. This here is actually a little community project. Um, there's lots of people working here, working the gardens. There's also vegetable gardens. So, yeah, and up, you can see right there, those are Zulu villages, of the Zulu people. So this is Zulu country. <sighs> Beautiful, huh? Our view is actually a little bit better from up top, right there. So this is where I am, my friends. So we are actually um, an hour or so north of Durban. The ocean is somewhere there, right? 
you can see that somewhere over there we're an hour or so north of durban um on the east coast not the west coast on the east coast of south africa right so that's that's where we are sorry guys uh, my hair is looking like pretty bad <laughs> it's the wind it's the wind so yeah that's where i am and that was my message for you if you want to experience something like this if you want to change your life trajectory you've got to start with yourself you have to start with the trajectory from within stirring it all up releasing those beliefs releasing those stuck identity energies oh yes of course the little kitty <laughs> sorry i know it's the wrong way around <laughs> the animals are very friendly yes i will tend to you in a minute okay so my beautiful children of the stars reinvent yourselves and then before you know it you'll find yourself in a completely different situation a completely different place and the world around you will transform and change as you change from within that's basically the message all right love you all thank you so much and make sure you are subscribed to this youtube channel because i'm gonna go live somewhere here in africa <laughs> when there's something good to show you and i want you to get the notifications so make sure you turn the notifications off and on again sometimes they don't work be subscribed to my youtube channel and always look down below in the description box because sometimes i have some goodies for you some free stuff my starseed origins course if you want to know who you are is still live it's ongoing so if you have been wanting more and wanting to go deeper check it out i've got some good stuff for you guys all right okay so have a lovely november and at the end of the month if you start to reinvent yourself and get rid of those beliefs at the end of the month you'll see where you're at it's going to be different it's going to be brilliant it's going to be amazing and marvelous because these 5d energies are just waiting are waiting to be claimed by you be your multi-dimensional self this month break loose out of this 3d cage it's up to you my friends it's up to you nobody else love you thank you bye for now